Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Beyond. In today's episode, I'd like to make it into the nether. So a lot of you told me, and actually I already knew this, but uh, a lot of you told me to make a obsidian sharpening kit from Tinkers using the obsidian that we found uh, in the... I think we found it in the blacksmith in the village that's to the northeast or something like that. Uh, so we're going to do that right away. If I can find... I may not actually have a sharpening kit cast. I should probably make one of those. Uh, let's see here. Let's grab a little bit of cobble. Go to our part builder. Actually, no, we need the... There we go. Sharpening kit pattern. Throw that in here. We'll make a cobblestone one. And that should do the trick. That also means, though, that I need one aluminum brass ingot so that I can actually make the cast. So let's chuck that in here as well. And basically what this sharpening kit allows us to do is upgrade the mining level of any tool that we put it on. So even though my bronze pickaxe is only capable of mining... Uh, basically diamonds. It's not capable of mining obsidian or cobalt or anything like that. Um, this sharpening kit will allow me to change that. So let's make the ingot cast. There we go. And then we can go ahead and pour that in here. And that should make us the sharpening kit. And we can, maybe maybe we'll even make one more to put on our hammer, because I don't think it actually uses an upgrade slot. I think it just upgrades the mining level. And uh, this will upgrade it up to Cobalt, which I believe is the highest mining level. Actually, Menulin might be higher, but uh, I don't think there's any resources that you actually need that for. Uh, let's see, let's grab... Ooh. I may not have Flint. Oh, here we go. It was just in the wrong chest. Normally, I keep that in here. There we go. So we can combine in our tool forge the tool, the flint, and the sharpening kit. And that will not use a modifier. But that'll give us... Oh, that actually gives us the obsidian thing as well. I think. Cool. Okay, well, we'll take it. Uh, there we go. So, we'll do that. I also want to swap out uh, some of the parts on this because uh, I'm using wooden bindings for my pick, my hatchet, and my shovel, and I really don't think they serve any purpose. So, I think I'm going to uh, swap them out instead for copper, which will give us a little bit of an experience point boost. It's, it's not much, but I don't really have a whole lot of good options right now. Uh, either way. This will be a worthwhile upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my tools. I'm going to head down to uh, the level, the lower levels of the world, get myself some obsidian so we can make a nether portal, and then I'll come back to you. All right, guys, I am back, and I have enough obsidian for a nether portal. Now, I don't know exactly where I want to put this because I really kind of hate the nether portal sound. <laughs> so I don't know that I necessarily want it right in the village, and especially not right next to my house, we could probably sneak it into one of these houses or something. Um, actually, this wouldn't be a terrible spot for it, right here. Oh, we got all this bee stuff. But what we could do... Uh, let's see, so we go... One, two, three... Yeah, those can be broken out. This is... Fireproof wood. Interesting. Huh. Okay. So, let's put down this guy. And we're just gonna put our nether portal right in this house and call it good. There we go. So that's all lit up. I, I do want to throw this bee stuff back in our other house before we head into the nether. Otherwise, it's just gonna take up inventory space that could be better served for other things. Now, I have no idea what the nether is like in this mod pack. I've never been to the nether in this mod pack. I don't know if there even is a nether in this mod pack, to be honest. 
but we're going to try it out and see what happens. Um, I should probably grab some blocks just to take with me, just in case I need them for something. Uh, but I think that's everything. Let's head... Let's head in, I guess. Let's head into the portal. Let's see what the nether looks like in FTB Beyond. Now, I do know that Natura is in the mod pack, so it is quite possible that there's going to be some extra nasty things. Um... Ah, doesn't look too bad. Oh, we've got some cobalt over here already? Nice! Double cobalt, even better. There we go. Oh man, that's actually a pretty good spawn. Oh, and there's more up here. I wonder... I'm seeing a ton of cobalt and ardite. I wonder if the ore spawn chance of cobalt and ardite have been increased in this pack to make them more common. Because I feel like I'm seeing a lot more cobalt and ardite than I normally would. Uh, this is used to make much, much better Tinker's Tools than what we are rocking right now. Uh, the best Tinker Tools in the game are made from cobalt and ardite, or the two of them combined. Uh, at least for the most part. There are some exceptions to that if you want to be clever, and we may end up being clever at some point. But, I do want to look around a bit and see what else we can find. I do want to also take any cobalt and ardite, because the sooner we can get better tools, the better off we'll be. Uh, look at this. A quadruple vein? I, I don't think I've ever seen a quadruple vein of cobalt before. That's pretty crazy. This stuff is, like, everywhere. Now, the real question is, what other resources can we find in the nether that we can't find anywhere else. Obviously there's, uh, you know, glowstone, quartz, stuff like that. But are there any other ores, like gold or redstone or any of that kind of stuff? I'm gonna guess no, because I feel like I would have seen them already. I did see that svelorite or whatever it was back there, but that was, uh, that was used for something different. Oh, actually no! Oh, this is pyrite. Pyrite ore. What's this? Pyrite dust. Hmm. I wonder what that's used for. I, it, it looks like gold, but obviously it's not gold. Although pyrite is technically fool's gold, so maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. I don't know what pyrite's actually used for. Uh, most of the tech reborn stuff, I, I really have no idea. Um, tech reborn and industrial craft both, for that matter, have never really interested me. I don't know what it is, uh, but every time I've attempted to get into one of the two, I've just very quickly lost any motivation to do so. That looks like... Hi, Ghast. I don't have... But that's that's Nether Draconium Ore. We will take that for sure. And that's one of those... That's one of those Natura Creepers that explodes very quickly like that. But we got some Draconium Dust from Draconic Evolution. That's pretty awesome. That's a good find. That's Draconic Evolution, usually pretty late game, but hey, Draconium Ore is super rare. So I don't know. I just want to look around a little bit. Kind of get an idea of what our spawn looks like. Yeah, they, they must have increased the spawn rate of Cobalt and Ardite, because this is more Cobalt and Ardite <laughs> that I have found, uh, like, ever. This is this is the most I think I've ever found in such a, a small radius from spawn. Like, look at this, I can't look anywhere without seeing it, it's just everywhere at once. What is this? Dark wood. I'll take this. This might be kind of a cool color. Now, the question is, although... Oh, that's another thing, too. The hatchet uh, is basically shears, at, except it doesn't give you the leaves. But it will get rid of leaves super, super quickly. There we go. Darkwood sapling. That's what I was hoping for. There we go. Let's eat a little food. I'd like to get some of the different Natura trees. 
Uh, what's this look like? Is this like a blue color? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not bad. I don't know what we would use it for, but hey, as a builder, I mean, I'll take all the blocks and the different variations and stuff that I can get. I'm never going to complain about having new blocks to work with. There we go. And I know we saw... Look at... Yeah, look at this. Triple veins of cobalt. Like, it's just everywhere. We've already got 16 cobalt and 18 ardite. That's enough to, like, make all of my tools. Uh, and then some. That also means we'll be able to upgrade our sword to Manulin very quickly. So that's good. Because that will be much, much better damage than what we're getting now. I don't see any, like, nether fortress or anything like that, though. Not that that's necessarily a big deal. But it's kind of... Well, I don't want to say disappointing. Hmm. Let me peek around the nether for... Oh, that, well, phew, I spoke way too soon. Look at that. Just bam, right there it is. <laughs> okay. Um, Best way to get over there? Probably just like this. We'll just clear ourselves a little bit of a path. Ooh, I should have marked out my portal. Oh well, too late now. Hello, Netherwart. And soul sand, for that matter. We need soul sand for, uh, for Solarium. Which we're gonna need once we get into Ender I.O. But I'll take all of that, and I'll take all of the, uh, all of the Netherwart. You never know. Who knows? Maybe we'll get into some sort of potions or something that will require it. Um, what have you said that I can hit you on the keyboard to see everything this gets used for? Oh, yeah, 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 that's super cool. I totally didn't know that before. What else can I use this for? Another war crops, the ring of speed from actually additions, ring of haste, ring of strength. So basically all the rings from actually additions and then biomash, whatever that is. I've used actually additions in Hermit Pack. Uh, so I'm mostly familiar with it, but I don't know every single little thing within the mod. Like, I don't know what Biomash does. I know how the Empowerer works, though, and that's pretty cool. That's like my favorite machine ever because the, the name of it is super fun to butcher. Um, <laughs> let's see. I'm going to explore the Nether Fortress a bit, guys. See if I can find anything super cool. And if I do... I'll let you know. All right, guys, I am back. So check this out. I found this fountain and I've actually got some gold ingots. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look at that. Gives me demon ingots back. Those are from extra utilities too. Uh, these things are amazing. Like you can use these to make these di demonically gargantuan drums. And uh, they, they, they hold a lot. They hold a ridiculous amount of stuff. Also, you can make molten demon metal. And by the way, demon metal apparently has pretty good attack damage compared with everything else. Like if we look at swords, right? My, uh, my, or let's just look at sword blades. There we go. That's a little easier. My silver sword right here has an attack of, of five. Uh, Manulin has an attack of 8.72, and Demon Metal has a attack of 8.25. I don't know what Whispering does, though. The, uh, the modifier that it gives? I'm not sure what that does. So, if you know, please, by all means, fill me in. I'm curious. But still, we got ourselves some Demon Metal just because we were able to find some gold ore, or some gold ingots lying around. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, check this out. We got a double blaze spawner right here and right here. That's that would be a great find if if this were vanilla, but it's not vanilla. So ultimately, the whole like double spawner thing, eh, not really all that useful when you can move spawners. That's one of the many things I love about modded. But still, two blaze spawners right next to each other right there. We'll have to make use of those and get ourselves a proper blaze farm set up. I haven't really found anything else that's uh, interesting or of note in this fortress. I think I'm going to save some of the exploring of it for later because I'm not really too concerned. Now I just want to kind of find my way out of here. Uh, this does not look familiar at all. Uh, 
I should have brought some torches. I think I'm lost in the nether. I spoke too soon. We did find something cool. We found some filled kin tin cans. I don't know what those are actually from. An ancient capacitor. Golden horse armor, copper ingots, and iron ingots. So we found ourselves another treasure chest. I mean, I will take any of that that I can get. Anything at this point is helpful. And, most importantly, I found the way out. <laughs> I figured out how to get out of here. So, I'm going to head back to my portal, wherever that may be. I feel like it's this direction. Maybe? I'm really not sure. I, one noobish mistake that I made was I didn't waypoint my portal, which is always, uh, or is usually anyway, the first thing that I do once I get into the nether. Yeah, totally didn't do that this time. So let's hope it's over here. All right, we are back. And all things considered, I think we did pretty well. Um, I want to make an upgrade for this chest. Yes, I know there are better storage options like the the crates or whatever from actually additions, but I actually really just like the aesthetics of the iron chest. I, I think they just look really good. Uh, so even though they may not be the most effective storage solution, like efficiency wise or whatever, I'm perfectly happy with using them. I just like them. I think they're cool. Uh, so let's toss these ores in here. I also managed to get a couple of blaze rods, a little bit of glowstone, uh, you know, some various nether resources and things like that. Um, I suppose blaze rods would go over there. This stuff, I guess, would all go in here, except for maybe glowstone. Glowstone, I would probably consider a block. I don't know. It's kind of interesting how my brain works sometimes. Now, I don't know. Some packs you can melt down things like fully full durability swords. Some things you can't. So I want to find out, can we melt this down in the smeltery? No, can't be smelted down. That's really unfortunate. I was hoping we could, but we can melt down this demon ingot and make ourselves a much, much more awesome sword. Uh, I still don't know what the whispering modifier does, so hopefully it's not something horrible. But, uh, you know, I mean, well, I, I guess we'll find out. We'll find out together. It'll be an adventure. This thing is slowly smelting. Oh, I also have this nether wart. I totally missed that before. There. Oh, and this is now full too. Okay. Let's upgrade that chest as well. We'll go... Like a so. Beautiful. All right. There we go. And what else do I need to upgrade? I'm gonna need, I should probably upgrade all my tools, honestly. Now that we have all this, this Ardite and Cobalt and stuff like that, we should probably just upgrade all of them. Um, now, this demon metal stuff, Menulin is technically a better option, okay? But it gives, the insatiable modifier and if i remember correctly the insatiable modifier causes damage uh to my sword occasionally or maybe it makes me hungry it does something some sort of negative something and i really want to try out this demon metal stuff like this looks super cool oh that only gave me oh i guess you need two demon ingots to make one sword blade Okay, I actually, you know what? I knew that. The sword blade require is a material cost of two. I, I don't know why I was thinking it was one. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just hung up on the old tinkers. I don't know. Whatever. It's not a big deal. Okay, now, moving on. There are some other mods in the pack that I want to get into that are going to be very useful for the early game, uh, which is obviously where we are right now. Let me look through the mod list a little bit and figure out which one I want to do first. And uh, let me get my tools upgraded. And then I'll come back to you. All right, guys. I am back. Tools are all upgraded. We're walking, we're rocking cobalt across the board, except for the sword, which has demonic. Or demon iron or whatever. Demon metal. De whatever it is. You, you know what I'm talking about. So what I want to do next is I'd like to automate our smeltery a bit. 
So here's what I'm thinking. We are going to make ourselves some transfer nodes from extra utilities to... Uh, to make those, I'm going to need some glass, I'm going to need some stone slabs, a couple different things, okay? So let's toss, uh, actually, we got to take this augment out. Let's just toss these cobblestone blocks in here so we can turn them into smooth stone. Wow, I have a lot of toast. Hmm. I think, well, we're at it. Let's do this as well. Let's make a chest... Uh, and there's it. What's the, what's the, uh, basic storage drawer recipe? No, that's storage trim. I don't want, uh, I don't want trim. I think it's actually just called a drawer, come to think of it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's the recipe right there. So let's just make a spruce drawer, and we'll put that right here. And all this toast, we'll just toss it in there like that. That way, it's all held for us. Okay, cool. So now, I need to make some of these. I need some redstone. I need some glass. And I believe the transfer pipes are done like that. Yep, there we go. Good, good, good. We also need a chest. And... The transfer node for items. So we'll get four of those. That should be everything we need. And then finally, let's make two more chests like that. Uh, I'm just going to toss those in here. Those in there. And you can go back into here. How are you doing on power? Pretty good. No worries. Okay. So that's taken care of. Now what we'll do is down here underneath these guys and going to a chest right here uh, I'm gonna have to come down one more that's okay we're gonna put one uh, oh will it let me do this I hmm no I can put them there can I not attach these to the bottom I thought you could attach them to the... Yeah, 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 I can. That was weird. I wonder why it wasn't letting me do it before. Okay, whatever. Either way, we are going to essentially put item transfer nodes here, which are going to suck any items in here into this chest. So, if I put, for example, some... I don't know, what do we have a lot of? Some iron. Let's just say I want to put iron into this guy. Right? I'll put my iron ingots in here. I'll put a transfer node here. Put a pipe there. Okay? This is going to start filling up with iron. Now, it's going to do it really slowly. So, I'm just going to do it manually right here. Uh, but, what will happen is once these all smelt... They'll end up in here. We'll, we'll be able to trigger them, and it will automatically suck them out and send them into this chest, which is good. Also, just a reminder, that is not the permanent location for the smeltery. We're going to build a proper building for that to go in at some point, probably in the near future. So, just, I'm just reminding you guys, because it looks really bad right there, but don't worry. We'll, we'll do some things. Uh, so, that is basically the plan. Is that iron done yet? There we go. We got a little bit of iron in here. Okay. So you can see if we turn that into ingots, it'll automatically get sucked out and sent into this chest, which is pretty cool. However, I still have to do all of it manually, which is not exactly ideal. <laughs> I, st I mean, what's the point of doing this if I still have to go through... And every time there's new ingots, hit the thing, right? Like, that's... Oh, no. No, 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 no. That is way, way too tedious, my friends, and oh, and generally not worth it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a clock. And we'll just make this redstone clock right here from extra utilities. It's not hard to make. 
It's just a little bit of redstone. And what do I need? One torch? One torch. So we go, boop, one torch, and bam. Redstone clock, just like that. Piece of cake, okay? Now, we're gonna grab three. Let's grab four seared bricks. I may need, I, I don't think I need them all. I think I only need the three, but let's grab four. There we go. And we'll take this stuff with us. And what we're gonna do is right up here on this level, we'll go one, two, three, okay? And then, temporarily, I'm gonna put this guy here. We'll put redstone dust on top of those. And we'll put a redstone clock. Uh, this could be harder to place than I thought. Because I can't... Oh, yes, I can. There we go. So we'll put that right here. And this is basically just going to emit redstone pulses over and over and over again, which will cause these to repeatedly fill up as long as there's something to put in them. It'll put stuff in there. Now, it's only going to work for ingots, so it's going to go super, super, super slow. But I won't have to babysit it. It'll just do its own thing. And if I ever want to turn it off, I can put a lever on here, flip that, and it will stop working. So on and off. Pretty easy and very cheap. Very cheap early game solution for ore processing. That way I can still double my ores and I don't really have to do a whole lot of manual, you know, babysitting the stuff and, and all that kind of stuff. So, that should work pretty well. Let's also grab a bit of toast. I just realized I'm a bit low right now. There we go. Okay, so we got our smeltery set up. We went to the nether. I think the next step is to start working a little bit on some of the houses in the village. I just kind of want to look... I, ooh, this is ugly. The roof on this one's all, like, damaged. I think what we need to do is kind of survey the damage a little bit. This house is just horrendous. Like, it's it's floating. It's a floating house. I hate floating houses so much. I don't think there's actually anything in here that's useful. I could probably tear that down. Um, but... Still some terraforming we need to do here, too. I wonder if we can get an emerald. Did the, let's go check on the villagers. I, I kind of stashed all of them in this house over here. They're imprisoned. You may remember that from last episode. Uh, but I should be able to sneak in here. Do any of these guys have... Oh, I can't access any trades from here. Ah, that's too bad. Um... Hmm, maybe, maybe I can break that out? Okay, what I need is something to trade for emeralds. There's an arborist. Jam guy trades emeralds. There, ooh, this guy. He'll trade treated sticks for emeralds. I'm pretty sure I have some treated sticks. That'll work, that'll work. Okay, let's go grab them. And if not, I can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. I only need one emerald. I only need one emerald, so this this will work. Let's go. Not you. Not... N not... No, not you. Ah, uh, there's... There's too many villagers. I can't... I just want... Ooh, is it you? No. Not you. All right, let me see if I can get this done, and I'll be back with you. There we go. That took way, way too long, but that's okay. Now we can imprison them again. So what I want to make is I want to make a silky jewel. That's basically going to allow me to put silk touch on one of my tools. And considering we're working on this big village transformation project, I really want to have grass and not dirt. Um, it's just a lot easier to work with, and I was trying to type, type transformation into JEI. So, uh, let's see. Silky Jewel. One emerald, four silky cloth. Four silky cloth is eight string around a gold ingot. Okay. I don't have that much. How much wool do I have? Because you can actually pulverize wool into string. I really don't have any. Hmm. 
There I go, sounding like a villager. I know we've got some sheep around here, though, so maybe I can get some sheep, pulverize that into string, and get what I need. That would be good. Oh, yeah, look at this guy. Just chilling. And there's a cow in here, too, for some bizarre reason. I, I don't know why, but what... No, he dropped more wool than that. There we go. That's a little bit more like it. Okay. Um... Any more sheepies? Anywhere? There's one. Take it. Let's see. So that would be 24 wool. I have six already. So that would be 30 and I need 32 string. Oh, there we go. Here we go. We'll shear these guys up and then we should have plenty. Um, now, I don't know if the wool will convert to string in a sag mill. So let's check. Sag mill. Ooh, it only gives me three. It doesn't... Or is that an eight? I can't tell if that's a three or an eight. Here I can get four. A pulverizer will give me four if I do a pulverizer from thermal expansion. Hmm. Maybe we do the... I mean, I hate to double up. I've got the sag mill already. We got 14 wool. That would be... Yeah, yeah, you know what? We'll be fine. Even if I get three, I'll be okay. Be, uh, because 14 would put me well over the 32 that I need. Okay. Uh, let's see. My house is right here. Let's toss this in real quick. Yeah, that is three string. Okay, that's what I thought. But let's put a number of these in. Uh, we're going to need, I think, that many. If I did my maths correctly... We'll need 11 total, that is to put us over the 33. Although then again, I already had some, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, let's grab one, two, three, four gold ingots. We'll grab some of this string right here. And this is actually going pretty quick. I have to say, I'm happy about that. And there we go. We have what we need. So we'll put you here. We'll surround those. That gives me my four silky cloths. And there we have our silky jewel, which I'm going to put on my excavator. So that thing now has silk touch, which means I can get all the annoying silk touch materials, like grass, for example. So that'll actually be really useful. Um, plus, I know I've come across some podzel and stuff like that in various places. I don't remember exactly where, but I know I've seen it around somewhere. I, I don't know. Either way, either way, we've got a pretty decent amount of progress for today. I think we went to the nether, we automated our smeltery, I'm pretty happy, I think we're good to go. Guys, I am however out of time for this episode, so my friends, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment, I do appreciate it, and it really does help on my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.